Okay. So I'm just going to go through this. Um, as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, whenever, if we have multiplying expressions, you simply just multiply across, right? Just like if we had fractions, you simply multiply across. Everybody is OK with that? That's what we did two class periods ago when we were going over this. So now when you're using division, that's my calculator, right, Shane? Yes. OK. Now that you're using division, um, basically what we're going to do is we have to rewrite this as the product. So I rewrite this as 7x to the fourth over 24y to the fifth. Now, just be careful when you're rewriting this as a product, we only reciprocate what we call the divisor, what we're dividing by. So then this becomes 12y to the fourth over 21x. Wait, is that 24 or? Yes. All right. Now, my recommendation is rather than doing all this multiplication here, what I would do is multiply across using my rules of exponents. But you notice I have x to the fourth and y to the fourth. Those don't have the same base, so we can't do anything with them. Right? I can multiply 7 and 12, but I'm just going to hold off for a second. I'm going to kind of show you guys something we can do. So if I multiply this cross, I'm going to multiply this as one problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group the numbers with the variables. So as if I multiply this across, I basically obtain 7 times 12 times x to the fourth times y to the fourth. Do you guys agree with me? That's kind of the same thing, just written in a different way. Then. I multiply 24 times 21 times x times y to the fifth. Skylar, come on. Does everybody see that? So now what I do is I just want to work on the problems individually compared to uh, the variables. So if you guys look at this, I can't divide 7 and 24. But can I do 7 over 21? Can that reduce to something? 7 over 21, what can that reduce to? One third, right? If I divide by 7 on the top and the bottom, well, let's write it. That might be confusing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then can I do 12 over 24? Can that reduce to something? One half. Yeah, one half. No, I actually had to do it in my head as well, because <laughs> um, I wasn't. I didn't look. I didn't see one half, so I had to double check it. Um, then, what are our rules of exponents when we're dividing? We have x to the fourth divided by x, so that's going to be x, three, no, x, x to the four minus oh, minus one, right? Which is x to the third, oh. right? And then here, this is going to become what? So the third, and that just pretty much goes out. And then over here, basically you could say this becomes 4 minus 5 is y to the negative 1. And do you guys remember what we do when we have a, we have a power raised to a negative exponent? We put it in the, we reciprocate it. So we'd put it in the denominator. Or you guys can basically say there's one extra y in the denominator. So basically, what you have is y to the first in the denominator. So now, when I go ahead and do this here, in the numerator, I have 1 times 1 times x to the third, which is just going to give me x to the third. In the denominator, I have 2 times 3 times y to the first, which is 6y to the first. Okay. So I think that will be very beneficial if you guys take a test to have an example like that written out. Anybody have any questions? Preguntas for me? Did you get it right? Good. Is that why you're touching on your phone? Well, how about this one then? Where'd my book go? My book. No. Oh, I guess we don't have to do any math today. No, that green little book. Skinny green book. Oh, there it is. No, I no. What do you mean? I said where. I didn't. I didn't see it. You say where. You said no. Oh, you're right. I did say that. My apologies. <laughs> Maybe I thought you stole it. 
All right, we're going to do All right, now we're going to get away from the rules of exponents, and we're going to do one with expressions. So I'd like you guys again to try this one. And why don't you guys see if you guys can try this on your own. Again, I'll go through the steps. The steps are to rewrite it as a product, which I think everybody in this class is able to do. First, re <laughs> Justin, please. rewrite it as a product. And then, rather than using the rules of exponents, because now we have things separated, we have expressions, right? We have the addition and subtraction signs. So now, rather than using the rules of exponents, let's go ahead and factor the expressions and see what we can divide out. Now it's getting real fun. Ooh, get a carrot. What was that? Oh. Ever have where you have lunch and you remember? You're like about to leave and you're like, you know what? Don't forget your lunch. And then you leave it. Um, just a reminder, we will take a homework quiz. We will take a homework quiz next class period um, on this stuff as well. But it will be notes available. You'll be allowed to use your notes. Okay. Is that fair? Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then Lizzie can study her notes. Oh, I did. Okay. All right. Oh, shoot. I'm still recording. Oops.